Welcome to Pine Notes. My name is Lisa and today we are making a granny stitch poncho out of the beautiful landscape yarns that we have in front of us. And just to explain, you will need two of your gorgeous multicolor. You will need one contrast color if that's what you want to do if you're doing yours like mine. And if you want to add fringe, you want two. And this is pumpkin, burgundy, and tropics all by Lion Brand and they are the beautiful landscape yarns. This is the yarn that Harley Quinn, and I affectionately call her Harley Quinn, this is the yarns that Harley Quinn was made out of and in fact I will insert a better and bigger picture right here. Now Harley Quinn was made with a 64 starting chain. I made Harley Quinn so I could add a cow neck onto it. However, my original granny stitch and my very first poncho was the Tomato Queen and she is right here. Tomato Queen was made with one cake of the red velvet Karen cake. It was made with the Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool in the color natural and I ran like 12 inches short so she does have a touch, a small touch of Red Heart, I'm sorry, not Red Heart, it is Lion Brand again and it's called Heartland. That's where I got my heart from. Heartland is something I keep in stock pretty much all the time as well as Fisherman's Wool. And it has a 74 inch neckline because I wanted to add some single stitch detailing right here which pretty much took up that space. But today we are going to stick to the basic pattern that Harley Quinn was made with and Harley Quinn is made out of the beautiful apple orchard and ruby and burgundy yarns. So today we're going to start this and the other items that you will need for our quick crochet along are a size L hook and an L hook is an 8 millimeter and this is one of my new ones. It was a red heart crystal and it's very light but the reason I like it is because it's in line right here. I do have an original metal hook that does not have the inline and I don't like it nearly as well. You'll need your scissors and yes I can't get away from the safety pins. They don't move. You won't lose them. And of course a stitch marker. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and chain our 64 but I want you to stop at the count of 32. So we're going to do 1, 2, at 15 right now and we're going to join back together when we have 32 on our hook. I now have 32 chains on my hook and I'm going to take my first safety pin here and this is my 32nd and I am going to mark it because it is the halfway point for our chain and we will be double granny stitching into this on our next round. And yes, I am starting with our contrast color, which is in pumpkin. 
and I want you to do the other 32, slip stitch the ends together, and join me back here. Let's join our chain together, shall we? And it is a simple slip stitch. And now we're going to chain three up, and the chain three counts as your first double crochet. So one, two, three, and we're going to place a double crochet into the next chain space right here. And double crochet, yarn over, double crochet into your next chain space. Make a chain space skip one on the loop, double crochet over, and continue on with your double crochet. So that's three double crochet, skip a space, three double crochet, skip a space. And what I'm going to do is with that second safety pin or stitch marker, if that's what you use, go ahead and place that in your first set of three. The reason I do this is simply to remind myself that when we come back around, we're going to be doing two sets right here. So this single crochet right here will share a V of two granny stitches, and that's going to be your center seam down the rest of your crochet poncho. And I can show that to you right here in our lovely apple orchard. There you go. So basically what you're doing is making from that point on all your double crochets. So let's do our roundabout of three double crochet space, three double crochet space, and we're going to be moving this as we go further and further. And I'll tell you why. Sometimes I get moving so fast on these crochet projects that I will totally skip over doing a double crochet. So I'm marking it from the very first and I will move my safety pin on as we go. All right, so let's continue on and meet me back here when you finished your first row. We've reached the end and we joined right here and we slip stitch together and I just chain one because I want to add in my beautiful color of Landscapes Tropic and this is going to be the main body of our poncho for a little bit. And can I tell you, you can join any way you want. I just really dislike knots. So I will take a thread and needle and sew in the ends. This is our little yarn needle right here. It has a very dull point. I will sew in the ends. So all I do is I take it in my hand, leaving enough to sew in. And yeah, I guess that does make a little bit more work to make sure that I am sewing in the ends properly, but I just like, especially something I'm going to wear around my neck, I don't want any knots up there. I have a very sensitive skin, and let me tell you, I can feel if a knot is up there. So all I do, and then I'm going to chain three from here. So one, two, three, and all I simply do, and you don't have to do this if you don't want to, is tug on it lightly. You don't want to make your stitches smaller and just make a little bow. And I will undo that when it comes time for me to sew in my end. And that's how I do it. However you like to add in your yarns is up to you. 
Um, don't let me dictate that. So I believe in creative crochet. A hundred percent. Do what makes you comfortable. And we're going to double crochet right back into that space. And I know it looks a little messy now, but it will all make sense. And one, yarn over, double crochet. As always, your chain three in this particular poncho counts as your first stitch. You are going to chain one, yarn over, come and do not one, but two. And here we are. Three, chain one, and go into that space you created with that chain before, and one, and two, and three coming up. But I want to stop right here because I told you how fast I can work. Make your chain, finish your thought. That's what I like to say. Finish your thought before putting it down. And I am putting my safety pin right here because when we come right back around, I'm going to add that V that I showed you right there and that will help grow our project this way. And we will yarn over, find your space. This is probably my last day out on the patio doing a tutorial. Can I tell you that the weather in Ohio for October 20, 29th today, today is Saturday, I don't know when this video will post, but it is just a gorgeous day and I fear this may be one of the last days. It's already too cold in the mornings to sit back here. That's one of the reasons I like these crystal crochet hooks. My fingers get very cold very fast and I like this plastic. It seems to stay warm with me and yeah, I happen to like the bright colors. So, you know, cheap and cheerful. Use whatever hooks you are comfortable with. I also like a larger size hook to give my hands a break from making all those virus shawls. Sometimes when I do those in the smaller hooks, I, I do get a cramp. I will admit that I work pretty fast. So I do get a cramp, so I switch projects. We're coming up on that safety pin. I'm going to take it, I'm going to chain one. Take that safety pin out. And that's a 30 year old safety pin. Can I tell you that? They just don't make steel like that anymore. I love that. It's from my original sewing kit from when I was seven. All right, chain over. Double crochet. And we're going to do that three times. One, two, and three. But don't move anywhere. Chain one. And right in that same space, go ahead and start your pattern. This is your pattern right here where you're double crocheting three right into there. And three. I'm going to go ahead and chain one. Chain one. And one. Two and three. Chain one. Let's put our work down and right in that space, that beautiful space we created. And I do call this the front of the poncho because more times than not, a color change in the landscape's yarn will not happen in this particular space. It will happen on the back and we'll go ahead and continue. I'll work with you here a little bit and we're continuing on with one, two, three, and chain one. Always finish the thought. 
There we go. One. I love how this landscape yarns changes colors here. Two and three. Chain your one and one. Chain one and one, two and three. I guess I've been working with muted colors lately, so I really wanted to do something very cheerful. And this to me is perfect for October 29th. We're exiting October and getting into November and I want something real colorful to wear. Something that reminds me of the leaves changing outside. We're coming up on our safety pin yet once again. So that's one and two and three. Chain your one. And here we are. I'm going to go ahead and remove the safety pin. Now, this was our starting one. We are double crocheting right into that same chain space right there because this will make the v-neck for you on your poncho. And pull through. Yarn over. Pull through. Yarn over. Pull through. Chain that stitch. There you go. And count three up. One, two, three. That's how I happen to work mine. Now remember, that will be a little bit tighter because that's how I join. You count your three stitches to where it makes sense to you. This will be pulled tightly and sewn in for me. So my three, just as a reminder, is this nice brown color. One, two, three. Get a slip stitch in there. Pull through. Chain three up, which counts as one. Double crochet right back into that chain space that you just created. There's one and two and remember to do your little spacer. There we go. Dive right in to that space and one and two, three, chain that space. Let's finish our thought right here. Chain that space. Let's put that down because you know <laughs> I need to put this in here so I don't go past it. So put that right there. And you can see why I call this the back of the poncho or what I prefer as the back. If you want it as the front, that's fine. If you're using a single color, you have no problems. But I call this the back simply because all your color changes will happen back here. Now what we're going to do is just repeat that down until you get a good amount of the body, but let me tell you what may happen. And I'm going to bring our apple orchard up here just to, to show you. Do you see the nice variations of color? I've got blues and greens and reds and burgundy. That did not happen on this side. Burgundy and red, burgundy and red. Oh, a hint of blue. So, you know me. I've got to change it up. I will explain. If that is happening to our pattern, I will explain what I did to throw some color back in here. And this is why you need that third color. 
as an accent color. Now it could be ruby, it could be any color, but I threw this red to break up all this burgundy because that's what I wanted. If you're okay with this all being burgundy, then that's what you're going to make. There are no rules here. This is your crochet. This is your relaxation. Take a deep breath. Put those shoulders down and meet me back here when you have about 10 rows right here of your first half of your poncho. So here we go.